Welcome to Help Desk with Joe. This is show number 86, and we are live here in our Spencer tuned patch turned up studio in Spencer, West Virginia. And as always, with me, Justin and Joe. Nice. A little, rever <laughs> little reverse deal there. All right. Justin and Joe. But yeah. Morning, guys. Good morning. morning. Show 86, and you got a lot of good stuff to talk about, as always. And for folks that aren't familiar, Joe talks about technology stuff that uh, helps out the general consumer businesses, big and small, and uh, of course, just things that help people out. And you got an interesting lineup, Joe. We chatted a little bit here before the show started, and uh, repeat offenders across the board. <laughs> yes. Uh, always interesting. And these are things that people use every day, excluding myself. And I don't know about Justin. Justin, are you a TikTok guy? Nope. All right. So excluding <laughs> myself and Justin, I'm pretty sure the rest of the world is on TikTok. Oh, that makes three of us because I'm not on TikTok okay. either. So. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still on hiatus. Yeah. Went cold turkey. Yeah. I actually went and downloaded it the other day because there was a video I was actually needing to look up. Uh -huh. And literally, I, I looked it up and just went ahead and uninstalled it after I found it because I was like, I'm not <laughs> subjecting yeah. to myself to this again. Not getting back into it. No. Keeping yourself out of the TikTok game. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep clean. <laughs> <laughs> How's the therapy working? Yeah. So far, so good. Is I, that is it hard? Like, do other people say, "Hey, Joe, you gotta look at this TikTok," like when you're in person, or? Not really. I mean, I have some people send me some stuff, but it's like a link that you can actually view it on the browser, so it's right. not, not that bad. Mm -hmm. So it's not actual TikTok, but it right. is the TikTok. Right. Do yeah, you get viewing it in the browser is a little safer. I feel like it doesn't. Pull you into like the wormhole quite as hard yes. as the app does. Yes. Well, so still try to show you another video. Oh yeah. You're done watching, but. <clears throat> Facebook has Reels. R e e l s. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Yes, that's their version of it. Because I, I had somebody show me that the other day, and I was like, man, I don't want to see Facebook. They're like, this isn't really Facebook, and they showed me, and it was a video. I don't know if they're all like short because it was a short they one, are, but it was essentially a TikTok. Yeah. Like, there was there's a people. Yeah, it's Facebook's version of it, so it's more linked with Instagram, right? But they kind of flood it over into Facebook to try to weasel you over to Instagram. Gotcha, because it, it was a it was a person lip syncing words to a song, like I, I'm sure it's super popular because it was oh no, oh yeah. no, yeah, you know, and it's just a funny soccer video. But uh, I was like, dude, I don't want to see TikTok. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, it's not TikTok. <laughs> Like, looks like TikTok, sounds like TikTok, might be TikTok. Yeah. But they assured me it was not. Well, it's not, but basically the biggest majority of the Reels videos uh -huh. are videos that the people have imported from TikTok anyway. So yeah, it's, it's essentially that. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's I was skeptical. And I was like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're, you're, you're down the right path. I got to tell you that that song was a little catchy, though. It's funny because I could see where you could use that on all kinds of bloopers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That song, yeah. I kind of wanted it because I was like, I can make a Katie goalkeeper <laughs> <laughs> blooper video out of this deal pretty daggone easy. Yes. And, it, you know, it was, but anyway. Well, all what's right. funny is those songs on TikTok have become so popular that they actually have a channel on Sirius XM of, like, the most popular songs on TikTok. No way. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Like the whole song or just the little clips? Yeah, the whole song. Like, like they have a top 10, top 20 list of the most popular songs on TikTok, and they play them on I didn't even think about that. I'm radio. assuming this old No song is a real song then? Yeah. I kind of thought at first it was just made just for TikTok. No, it's an actual song. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, I, I No heard. way. Okay. Yeah. Who sings that song, and how is it applicable across like three minutes of music? Um... Cause it, you know how you have like the Halloween songs and stuff that are just made just for that, right? I kind of assumed that's what it was. Okay, uh, <laughs> the singer's name is Capone, and the song's called "All No." <laughs> and it's a hip hop song. Yeah, so they just cut out a portion then. Yeah, yeah, okay. they just slice yeah, a little yeah. cut of it. <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Okay, <clears throat> well that shows you where I'm at up to speed on technology. So it's a good thing you're here, <laughs> Joe, because uh, somebody's got to keep me safe. <laughs> Justin, I don't yeah. know what your role is at this point, but okay. Try try to keep us on task. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're still talking TikTok. So. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so subject number one for Help Desk with Joe is TikTok, obviously, but not what Joe is planning on talking about, I'm sure. No. <laughs> but uh, So, yeah, you got a good lineup, Joe. Uh, good lineup again today, and, you know, again, the usual suspects kind of popping in here, and it's amazing how often the same stuff comes up. But, right. With news. And 
just because of quick changes in the field of technology. Exactly. So here's a question that doesn't have anything to do with TikTok. Okay. And you may not know this answer, but okay. I know a couple of years ago we talked, and technology was doubling every couple of years. Yeah. You know, like every two years, the amount of technology being used and the speed of technology was doubling. And yeah. it had been happening over like a decade, right. which is massive advancements in technology. Right. Is that still happening, or has it started to slow down yet, you think? Uh, it's still happening. I mean, with, really? with artificial intelligence and algorithms and stuff like that, it's... Yeah. And I know, like, 5G was a big thing. Is 5G still a big thing? Oh, yeah. Well, it yeah, it still is, and it will be for a while until it's completely fully implemented. It's, that it's was my next question. Is it actually working? Well, they're still rolling it out, so it's... It's a lot of people don't remember this, but it's the same thing when 3G and 4G LTE came out. Yeah, it's big hype until it becomes the norm. All, yeah, until it becomes the norm, and that's why people are still talking about it because it's still is quote this, unquote new. I was gonna say, is it still in every corner and giving you brain cancer? Not yet. Okay, because they don't have all the tires up yet. <laughs> Tur- turn it. Is it turning you into a zombie like they predicted it was going to? No more than what the others did. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to replace TikTok for that year. No, not yet. Okay, there you go, Justin. I'll do a TikTok for you. <laughs> Keep well, us on. So don't interrupt us. We're still on they, task. I said TikTok. They yeah. used to, you know, measure like processor speed. Do they still use that as a benchmark of how quickly technology is uh, improving every year? Not as not as heavily. Because the processing power, it's still increased, but a lot of it has kind of peaked. That's what I, I was going to say. It's got to be instantaneous. How do you get better than instantaneous? Well, what they go for now is you heard <coughs> dual core, quad core, yeah. six core. That's where the that's where the benchmarks are now. Turbo water cooled. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a drag race car. Yeah. One thing I, I still. Top I'm fuel st- dragster. I know it has a, a purpose, but I'm just not sold on the whole liquid cooled yeah. idea because for some reason liquid and electronics just doesn't sound very. Oh yeah, a very shouldn't be mixed. Yeah. yeah, well, it's weird because I was complaining to you, Joe, about my computer here at work, how it it sat there and had to wheel spin for a little bit. Yeah, how spoiled are we? When that's my technology complaint to you for the day, because you <laughs> you messed up. You walked in and said, "Hey, how's it going?" So yeah. Like, well, my computer <laughs> froze. For a good 10 seconds yesterday, yeah. and I'm just not happy about it. <laughs> yeah, ruined my day. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on now. Yeah, yeah, when but it used to take 10 minutes for oh the boot up. Oh, my gosh, yeah, I know. Startup time was ridiculous. Yeah. And, you know, you, just, you had all those issues, and now if my computer spins the little wheel for 10 seconds. We're in trouble. The, all is not well in the world, Joe. I and mean, speaking of which, let me know next time it does that. Let me know what apps you have running. I don't know. We'll help. That's we thing. talked. The problem was I had like six different things <laughs> running, and I was searching through a Word document at the time, and I was mad because I couldn't find my document. Right. Like, I knew I put it somewhere. Right. I couldn't remember what I named it, nor could I remember what folder I was even going towards when I saved it. And because uh, I remember I was getting up, and we were doing something, and I was like, I got to save this real quick. So I just saved it. I had no idea where it went. <laughs> and uh, and I was sitting there, and then the wheel spun for like 10 seconds. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna throw this thing out the window. <laughs> well, if you could, if you could at least remember the the file name, I could have helped you because there's a program <sighs> called Everything. Yeah. That you just type the file name in and it does the whole scans your whole drive for you. When I saved it, it was an auto name. <laughs> like it gave me whatever, and I was just like, yeah, I'll come right back to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't. We did we, whatever project we were working on took like an hour. It was setting up the stuff for the race. Okay. Uh, uh, we're Justin's testing the new panels and stuff and the timing system and I. I came back and I was like, "Yeah, I don't even remember what the name <laughs> might have been." It, uh, anyway, so yeah. that, those are my troubles. So you know, you're spoiled when a 10 second delay just messes up your deal. Yeah, ruined your whole day. It didn't ruin my whole day, <laughs> but yeah, just messed up my deal. And I was like, "All right, I gotta tell Joe about this." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling on my computer to Joe. <laughs> Usually that's all it takes to fix it is, well, I, is it, you just tell me, then all of a sudden it straightens up. I started in on it an hour, you know, a little over an hour ago, and it hadn't froze yet. So maybe it knew you were coming today and didn't want any of that trouble. You would not believe how many times I'll get that on a regular basis. Yeah. At least. <laughs> I swear it's doing this. You show up, it stops magically. Yeah. <laughs> all it needs is, you know, so that, there you go. Yeah. Whatever problem you may, might be having. Just call Joe. He'll walk in. It'll stop. I or don't just, care. It might just, be a rash. might be a toothache. Who knows? Just call Joe. Or just threaten that I'll show up. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me call Joe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if it gets real serious, I'm calling Cena. Yeah. <laughs> then, it, then it'll get real. Uh, anyway, so it just it made me think as we were talking here, we're pretty spoiled when that's my computer complaint. Yeah. A 10-second 
wheel spinning deal. Yeah, little ten second hiccups. And yeah, yeah. I remember back in college, the first email photo I ever saw send took like two hours. <laughs> it loaded pixel by pixel. Yeah. And we were all like, "All right, when's this gonna load?" And uh, we waited and waited, and then we're like, "All right, I'll be back." <laughs> Went outside, passed some football, came back. Oh, halfway, okay, cool. <laughs> and back outside, pass some football, come back. And now, man, if it's not instant, yeah, there's something wrong. Right? Yeah, you just can't, can't. Your know, kids flip out. It's amazing how oh, much, yeah. what a lack of patience kids have. Mm-hmm. And it, it worries me. There are a lot of kids that if they don't get immediate gratification, right. man. Yes. Yeah, it probably translates into other things like. You start expecting everything in the world to oh, yeah. happen immediately. Yeah. Not just your computer. Well, I've had that talk with my kids. They'll be like, you're not doing it right now? And I'm like, no. Yeah. I'm the adult, you're the child, and it'll be on my time <laughs> schedule when this happens for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. the pandemic kind of made us all open our eyes of, we well, used to the instant gratification, because we talked about it before. Yeah. All, when we was all growing up, you'd order something. Yeah. You had to either call or send the send the order form by mail. Hopefully they uh, get it and wait weeks on end to get your package yeah now oh if it's more than two days i don't we're throwing a yeah fit. i don't agree with all of amazon's policies right and how they treat your employees right and i'm sure not on board with jeff bezos going to space instead of putting that money towards a good use right but um but by golly <clears throat> when you need something it's amazing what kind of stuff can get to Spencer, West Virginia in two days. <laughs> exactly. We ordered some stuff for Mr. Fava's math class. You know, a, a little ruler deal that lets you slide Cuisinair rods up and down it. So yeah. it's, it's a specific type of ruler. Two days. And I'm like, who in the heck stores these somewhere within two days of Spencer, <laughs> West Virginia? Right. Kind of an obscure product. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like pencils or pens or yeah. something that's used every day. It's right. a, Yeah, like you said, Justin, like, an obscure product that can only be used for that reason and right. i've never seen it used anywhere else <laughs> except well, for mr fava's class and two days later it shows up well, i was gonna say until mr fava showed up never probably never knew it existed i uh, yeah i had no idea yeah it's a ruler with a track in it at a specific gauge but i mean it's just two days yeah so uh, we were i was How talking about work? do they have tons of warehouses or that's i have they, no idea they do they have fulfillment centers nationwide the only reason i know this is because i've actually sent stuff to amazon to ship for me yeah and they have what they call fulfillment centers all across the country fulfillment fulfillment yeah so here's here's my thing though <laughs> like i know there's one in huntington it's right by the that's a call center oh okay never mind then yeah yeah uh, see that uh, see that that's a common misconception around here. People think that's a fulfillment center, but that's just it's a not. call center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, okay, so that makes it even more baffling to me. So if you kind of track it backwards, so let's assume I order those rulers. They're in a warehouse somewhere. Somebody's got to go get them, slap them in a box, throw them on a conveyor belt. They go somewhere. Yeah. Then by the time they get on a truck and it drives to Spencer, West Virginia. Yeah. Well, I guess it's got to go to a UPS hub. Yeah. And then or whatever. Hopefully UPS FedEx here stinks. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we found our package down the hall a week later. Well, I know you said you've had enough of bad experiences. Oh, they, if they don't throw them in someone's yard or throw them two miles away in the ditch, we're lucky we get FedEx. Yeah. So that's my gripe for the day. Anyway, <laughs> our UPS guy is awesome, though. Uh, so, anyway, they get on the UPS truck, go through their channeling system to end up on a truck that comes to Spencer, West Virginia, yeah. in two days. Right. So how far away could those rulers have been? You know, I'm thinking, like, Columbus, Ohio, maybe? Well, You uh, know, or... I've I've had to ship stuff, and it's really weird how how Amazon works because whenever I set up, because uh, I have like four or five items to ship to Amazon, and I yeah. go through the process on their seller portal, and literally it wouldn't be I, at one point there was I didn't throw everything in one box and ship it like it told me it said okay these two items you need to ship to our warehouse or our fulfillment center in in North Carolina. These other three, these need to go to California. And I'm going, what? wow. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you pay shipping for that? Uh, yeah. Okay. But it's like highly, it's deeply discounted. Really? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so what were we talking about, Justin? Yeah, there you go. Atta boy. Get us back on track. So, and, and Joe, we were over in Work County yesterday. Really? Yeah, Cena's native land. Yes. Ah. And, uh, See the tiger? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, for those folks listening on our Patch Facebook page, uh, you know, Morgan Cottrell, Morgan Roberts now, one of our super diligent Patch uh, kids that came through our program and worked for us forever. 
ran our programs, is now over in Wart County running the Wart County program. So we're super excited. And she did an outstanding job yesterday on our state monitoring. So kudos to Morgan Cottrell if any of her family's listening. Yeah, it's funny. She's, she's it, a good one. It, it's funny how small the world we live in. Uh, last year, one of her yeah. students was seen as cousin's yeah. son. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. So well, I mean, Wart County's pretty small, though. Oh, yeah. And and it's funny. I was talking to Cena's cousin the other day. She said, I signed up. She said, I signed uh, the, the oldest boy up for Pash. Nice. Right, school. And we said, great. And she yeah. said, he's loving him. Like, great. Right. They got a really good program. Morgan does quality work. So, oh, yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah, because if she's taking the work and what she did here, no, yeah. no worries. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nice deal. And really happy with everybody. The superintendent, Mr. Camp McCown, is awesome, easy to work with. And the principal at Morgan School at the primary center is just lights out good. She's awesome. She uh, talked to the state department person and was just on the money with her answers. And we didn't prep anything. We were just like, hey, let's see what, what happens. <laughs> So, yeah, good people over in Work County. So happy to have Patch over there. So it's going to be good. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. So yeah. I know you guys have worked a long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been that. talking about it for five or six years, and finally we're able to secure the grant. So good well, stuff. Well, and then COVID sure didn't yeah, help yeah, any. Yeah. So anyway, Justin, what were we supposed to be talking about? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok maybe? Yeah, yeah, all right. So, Joe, let's get to your TikTok story. All right. So. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Did well, you forget? You, kinda, <laughs> you, you guys kind of. Uh, killed your momentum before we started, but you didn't realize it. Yeah. So, TikTok has agreed to a class action lawsuit agreement. And if you've used TikTok or music.ly apps, you might be able, you might have some money coming your way. Hey, I'm still waiting on the $7 where you're supposed to get from wherever and you're buying something with it for us. Well, we're just going to put that money towards that lo- the water slide. Yeah, so where did we ever get our seven bucks? I don't think. Well, no, Justin was the only one that qualified for that. Oh, did you get your seven bucks, Justin? No, because no, he was going to use it to buy a new power bank. <laughs> 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 the good old power. This power bank's famous. Yeah. I know. When you get done with it, Justin, we're going to have to put it on the shelf yeah. over here yeah. so it can be here for all time. Yeah. The thing will probably catch on fire and burn the <laughs> junk down, though, but we'll make sure it's not charged. Well, no, as long as, long as it takes a charge, it'd be a slow burn. <laughs> <laughs> It'd take two weeks to catch on fire and burn. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So <laughs> what were you saying again? TikTok. So, so if you <laughs> or... Oh, settlement. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if you or your minor children have used the TikTok or music.ly apps, you could be entitled to money from a class action lawsuit settlement. So according to court documents, a proposed $92 million settlement is pending in the TikTok Incorporated Consumer Privacy Litigation a lawsuit that alleges the company violated, fe- quote, violated federal and state law by collecting and using personal data in connection with those with their use of TikTok, make your day video sharing application, unquote, and its predecessor, musical.ly. TikTok denies the allegations, according to documents in the f- and the settlement with Chinese parent company ByteDance, but was reached back in late February. But on Monday, TikTok put out a settlement notice in the app directing users to TikTokDataPrivacySettlement.com where you can go in there and sign up for and to, to receive uh, a settlement payment. So they, they used your information and then yeah, they got to settle it out? And I, and I believe, and I could be completely wrong about this, but I think this kind of stems back from when President Trump was throwing a fit about TikTok saying, hey, it's a Chinese company. You can't trust what they're doing with our data. And everybody's going, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. Yeah. Uh, Hold it, on. Hold, are children, we saying, Joe, are you insinuating children, TikTok's, children. TikTok's the only thing stealing our data? No, I'm saying. Okay. Uh, just just clarify. Yeah, that, I'm just saying. I mean, that, I'm sure people use apps every single day. I would almost say on the minute and have their data stolen. This just, is how crazy it gets. Yeah. Yesterday, I had a 30-minute phone call that went through six different people with Amazon. Somebody used my, it wasn't my, well, I guess it wasn't my credit card. Not like my personal credit card. I had an Amazon credit card yeah. that expired in December of 2017. And they still was able to use it? And they there was a charge on it in this October, like last month. Really? And they sent me a bill, a paper bill, that didn't show the charge, didn't show anything, just said, here's, you know, your was statements it, Was due. it legit? No, gosh, no. No, 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 no. Was the, the, the paper statement legit? Yeah. Okay. I, I called Amazon, and, uh, well, it ended up being like Chase Visa. 
Okay. Yeah, and that's that, who... Once I got the Chase Visa, and they're like, well, that card's expired. I'm like, you're catching on quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so, and so the first four people insinuated I needed a new card. And I kept saying, no, I haven't used this one in four and a half years. Yeah. I do not want it. I don't use it. I can't believe it's even still linked on my account. Right. When I pull up my Amazon account, it would show it being there, but expired. Right. And uh, <clears throat> so the first four people kept issuing me a new card. <laughs> Five and six finally got it. <laughs> and I was like, all right, listen, <laughs> you guys got hacked. And, you know, somebody charged to this card that is expired. How I can't even charge to it. How can they charge to right. it? Right. And the lady kept saying, well, did you charge to it? And I'm like, oh, Lord. Did you not listen? <laughs> well, I was like, does your computer show that it's not expired or expired? She's like, yeah, it's expired. And I was like, well, there then you go. how in the heck am I going to use it? Well, don't worry, sir. We'll send you a new one. I was like, oh, my gosh. Here we go again. So anyway, <laughs> even Chase is getting hacked <laughs> and using my information that I don't even have. I can't even use it myself. Right. But somebody out there could. Right. So was there well, actually a charge on it though? Oh yeah, there was. There was a ninety some dollar charge, a seventeen dollar charge, and then a late fee. According just to the piece of paper or to the. No, to the people on the other side. Yeah, they're like, well, yeah, you use this card. They saw the charges on there. Yeah, and I was like, "Uh, no, I didn't. It's expired. That that could be a scam somebody might try to do is send you a fake letter and say they're charges. Yeah, that's why I I double-checked. I made sure I went online and I walked through the tree and it showed, like, the phone tree first. That's the first thing I did. I just walked through the phone tree and checked charges on the card. And it showed, it said, you know, you got these two charges plus a late fee. And that's why I asked the lady. I was like, I haven't had a paper bill from this for, you know, five years. And one shows up out of the blue. Is this real? And she's right. like, oh, yeah, you you have a charge on there for sure. She told me what the charge was. It was to a bookstore. And I was like, yep. <laughs> and uh, she's like, yeah, the, you know, do you want to pay for those charges? They're like, no, no. of course not. <laughs> like, I can't even use the card. Well, what kind of it's dumb expired. question is that? <laughs> oh, I, I had to tell all six of them it's expired. I have zero access to it. Yeah, we got to be able to come up with a better system than the current, like, customer service through the phone thing that we've got. Well, you have to come up with it. I mean, well, go say we, 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 <laughs> tried, on, we tried shipping at the Indy, and look how well that worked out. <laughs> well, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't have a lot of complaints. Most of the times, like this got resolved. It took a half hour. Right. But the biggest thing was I felt like Chase was sell, trying to sell me a new car. Yeah. The, well, that's where they make the them. First, yeah. yeah. The first four were bent on making sure I got a replacement card. Right. right. And I kept saying no. Transfer me to, you know, fraud and transfer me to customer service yeah. so I can get rid of Five and six understood because I was pretty curt at that point. I was like, listen, cancel this, cancel that. And the one lady's like, oh, yeah, that's been canceled a long time ago. I was like, like yeah. Like 10 minutes ago? Yeah, it got canceled 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy. Where you, uh, I just, I got to believe our information stolen, traded, or sold all the time. Right. Because I, it's, and the amount of times that uh, I get, spam calls yeah it's weird it's really weird joe you talk me you uh got me turned to the app yeah i uh, google voice yeah google voice there yes. you go does a pretty good job it does doesn't it every once in a while one sneaks through yeah i don't know what they they've kind of upped their game the the spam callers because yeah. every once in a while like you said that one will sneak through but not like it nothing no like yeah it was. gosh i was getting 10 a day there for a while and you, yeah you uh, had me switch over to the google phone deal and that was awesome. It really worked well. But now I get texts every once in a while. Really? Yeah. See, I haven't gotten any texts. Now I'm getting texts. Well, like I get one maybe once every great. I probably once get a one a week. That's like, hey, you've won this prize. Click on this website to collect. But uh, Google Messages, a lot of time, it'll it'll mark it saying, hey, this is probably spam before I even open the message. There's a Google message. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think I'm on that one. <laughs> Where are you at on that one, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you tell me these things, man? <laughs> like I'll work it out on my own. You Heck. didn't ask. <laughs> it's true. I didn't have that problem until yeah. like a month ago. But you're going back to your credit card. I'm mm-hmm. wondering if somebody didn't have it, that information, not necessarily Chase got hacked. I wonder if they obtained that through one of these data breaches through one of these companies. Yeah, that's how And I they mean, just kind of sat on it for a while. Yeah. And it's one of those, you know, this guy... Has it used this card for a while? Let's just hit and see what happens. Because that happens yeah. more often than yeah. not. And what was weird is it wasn't like an Amazon purchase. Yeah. And it's an Amazon card. That's right. what they kept coming back. What well, should be on your Amazon. It's like, it's not. Yeah. You know, I don't have it. I said, look at my account. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's not on there. I was like, well, no joke. <laughs> so we kept, doing, we kept dancing around the topic. Anyway, so that was my, my deal yesterday. It took 30-some yeah. minutes of... <laughs> 
walking in circles and being transferred back and forth. But that, in the end, I will say they took care of it. Numbers five and six yeah. did what needed to be done, or I assume. Yeah. I'll find out here when I get the next paper <laughs> statement, I guess. <laughs> and that's a, though they were trying to verify an address I haven't lived at for 12 years. They're like, was this your address? I'm like, no. Really? Who are you even getting this information? <laughs> She's like, at this point, do you even have the right person? That's uh, I was like, yeah. Well, I mean, I had my name on the paper bill, but anyway, it's it's yeah. weird. That's uh, so. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you can't trust anybody anymore. No. Chase, even Chase, which seems pretty reputable and pretty big. So. Right. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's something else I was gonna tell you. Oh, uh, we've been we do live broadcast like my kids' soccer games. I'll take mm-hmm. my phone and do a little live broadcast here and there so that stuff. Uh huh been getting people coming on and spamming me saying oh yeah 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 yeah. go to this website to watch and they'll have the title off my <coughs> video like you know how you have to put a title yep. in to do it they'll take that title and it'll be embedded in the little deal and they'll say watch here for free yeah um what is that all about those are spammers because i know they're I, trying I to s- redirect you right and that's their whole gig. But and man, then, they rob your title. And, and I'm, I'm talking something that I have, you know, it's just for my family that's out of town, like maybe right. 10 viewers, 20 viewers. Right. There's but some, it pops up. There's some settings in your phone that, or on, on your Facebook app that you can put in place that'll cut all that down. Yeah. Uh, and Because re- that's not the first time I ran into this. And my most recent was last Friday night. Uh, I went with WBRC to help them yeah. live stream the the the, the football, football playoffs yeah. and the exa- had that exact issue had, yeah, somebody had three or four in. spammers yep. show up saying hey view view this uh-huh. football game for free isn't that crazy yeah how do you fix that uh, I'll, sh- I'll show you off air okay. there's some settings in Facebook that you can gotcha. set I mean um, we haven't had it on the patch one that I've seen yet right well there's actually on what I like about the desktop model of Facebook's live stream there's a lot more settings that you can do than yeah. on, the, on your phone because on the on the desktop, there's a lot more anti-spam controls in place that you can turn on. Uh, like I'm, I'm looking at the settings here on our Facebook Live right now. Yeah. And we have a default default that all viewers can participate in chat. Follow only your followers can leave comments. That'd be a good one. Yeah. And commenters can only comment every ten seconds. That'd be good because the one was just like bam, 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 bam. Well, you can even set it by country, saying any only people in the United States can comment. Really. And you can also. Now, on the desktop, I don't know if this thing's on mobile or not. At least it wasn't a while back when I had a customer complain. Uh, you can actually say that this person has to have the Facebook account for at least two weeks. That it's on here restricted. Yeah. Two weeks old. Now, yeah. it doesn't have the country, but it has those four. Default, well, follower, slow, and restricted. Yeah. Yeah, there, it, it's buried in there. You have to find it. But huh. there is a setting where you can set by country. And you can even – I don't recommend this, but you can even make it uh, only allow certain states – Really? Yeah, but that gets a little sketchy because yeah. if you say, okay, I'm only going to let people in West Virginia watch it, well, my cell phone shows that I'm in Pennsylvania the majority of the time based on T-Mobile's network. Really? So. I didn't know you were a scoundrel Pittsburghian. Yeah. Well, I'm not. My phone is. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. My phone is. Uh, but huh. that's. That can cause issues like that because, yeah, I'm in West Virginia, but my phone says Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. Bouncing around all different places. Yeah. So that's where I always say just if you do, at least inside the United States, that kind of yeah. cuts out the big Well, I changed their patch window. You have to have an account two weeks old. There you go. That'll help a little bit, even though this one's never been spammed like that. But right. Kind of interesting. All right. So what are we talking about? Justin. Where TikTok. You at? TikTok. The TikTok, TikTok settlement. Settlement. Yeah. 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 We like got it. money coming our way. Yeah, so if you, you get know, it, that's a good point, Joe. You you let us disclaim that we're not using TikTok while announcing that if we were using TikTok, we could have got some money. Could have got some money. Yeah. So we just counted ourselves. Yeah, see, I, I did out. use TikTok, so I I could possibly Yeah. Ooh, how much I've are used we it a couple times, How much are we splitting? I don't know, let me see. I have not used it at all, so Yeah, you have. Remember that one time? <laughs> 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 oh, yes, you have. We need we need a third party in this deal to get more money. Yeah. Um, we can't afford lunch on this. Split my opinion. <laughs> 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 There'll be no splitting to this pie. <sighs> I didn't say how much it could be, but yeah. There's so many TikTok users, it's probably pennies. Yeah. Everybody after, gets three pennies. Well, after legal fees and all that. It's Go buy a piece of gum. Don't forget to pay tax. Now, Joe, is this like children's data being used or anyone? Like, if you use TikTok. Anybody. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, because the reason they said you're minor children is because a lot of it's kids and teens that use oh, TikTok yeah, more than adults. Yeah. So. I, I would say that's turning slowly, though, because I see a lot of adults sitting there just breezing through videos. Yeah. We go to a soccer practice or something, man. Parents are just sitting there. Their head down, bloom, 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 bloom. Yeah. And I used to think they were um, going through Facebook. But they watch it too long on one page. I've noticed yeah. that. Yeah. I'll walk up and they'll be like, yep, 30. Uh, how long is a TikTok video? A minute. Well, they. I say it's been like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, and I was going to say, some of them they've been extended up to two minutes, depending on who the person is. And the, the reason I know is they'll they'll see something they like and they're like, look. And then the other person's got to watch it for 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah. And then they'll both laugh and go on. I'm just like, yep. Anyway. All right. So what else, Joe? But that that's it. That's all on TikTok? Yeah. That was one heck of a TikTok conversation. Yeah. That was. Whew. All right. Tell us about Instagram. Okay. So this one's kind of weird. So Instagram may soon ask users to verify themselves with video selfies. What? Interesting. Yeah. So. Oh, I could kind of see that, though. But how would that work? Well, you just record yourself live for like 30 seconds and send it. They have someone on the other end that actually watches it? Algorithms. Artificial intelligence. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. You're blowing Fa- my mind. Facial Joe. recognition. So I here, like it. I kind of like it. Well, now, here, here's where Hold it gets on. interesting. What's it for? So, so make you sure you are who account. you say you are. No, I mean, like, when you just make an account? Some well, people, it, well, here, here's what's going on. Some people make an account with a bunch of attractive women, but they just steal votes from other people and pretend to be that. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So you'd only do it when you start a new account? Well, no, we don't know. Here... Ah. So, Instagram is asking some users to provide a video selfie showing multiple angles of their face to verify that they're a real person, according to screenshots posted to Twitter by social media consultant Matt Navarra. The social network has long struggled with bot accounts, which can leave spam messages, harass people, or be used to artificially inflate like or follower counts. And it's <coughs> and it's possible that Meta, formerly Facebook, Instagram's parent company is looking to this feature to help curb the, the prevalence of bots on the platform. Hmm. And here's where it gets really interesting. Uh, according to the XDA developers, the company started testing its feature last year but ran into technical issues. Multiple users have reported being asked to take a video selfie to verify their existing accounts. Although the move may surprise some given Meta's recent announcement that they would be shutting down its face recognition features. As the company has since re- reiterated, though, it was only shutting down a specific Facebook feature, not Meta's use of facial recognition as a whole. You talked about that like two weeks ago? Yeah, or last week, one of the Maybe two. Maybe last yeah. week, yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah, either way, but yeah, so interesting, because you had exactly that thought, that it was very vague. They uh-huh. just said they were shutting it down, but no reason why or anything like that, just kind of out of the blue. Yeah, so it's kind of funny, because we had this discussion all fair was, why was Facebook spinning off into Meta? And I told and I told you from my understanding is right now it's all kind of under the same umbrella. Yeah. Now with Meta being the umbrella, if Instagram does something dumb, Facebook goes, well, well no, that was Instagram. Yeah. And vice versa. So now they're kind of backpedaling. Meta saying, oh yeah, that feature we said we was going to turn off. Well, yeah, we was going to turn off, but now that was only on Facebook, Instagram. They're going to do their own thing. So it's kind, it's it's weird. They. They're talking out both sides of their face, basically. Oh, yeah. Welcome to big companies. Yeah. Facebook saying, hey, we're going to get rid of fe- uh, facial recognition, and Instagram saying, hey, we're doubling down on this. <laughs> yeah, I can see uh, two sides of this coin for sure, but well, fake in accounts theory, are I, mean, horrible. I like the idea of you have to prove that you're not just totally deceiving people, that you're actually who you are claiming to be, but not the, the price you pay, though, is that your face is being analyzed by algorithms. Yeah, and why do you have to do multiple angles? Because if you wanted to prove to me that I am who I say I am, why don't I just do a live and you give me a pre pre written script? Yeah, exactly. And so I just read that script. That sentence, yeah. 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 And boom, done. Because if it's an automatically generated sentence, it won't be the same sentence every time. I like that. That's what I've pictured is like, yeah, a random, three, these three words randomly generated, you have to say them. And then you put yeah. The face. Yeah. Take the video. Right, right. But why why multiple angles of my face, w- face while I'm saying it? That's <laughs> yeah. where I get a little creeped out. Yeah. Huh. But I guess, yeah. Is, it, is the solution worth... Is the problem big enough to where 
yeah, you're not creating more problems by trying to fix something. Yeah. What is it worth it to? I mean, if they're already going down the road with paper recognition, why not? But this is where I'm not buying in. They say the message at the bottom of the screenshot also implies that the feature won't use face recognition at all, and that the video will be deleted after 30 days. Time out. You want multiple angles of my face to verify I am who I say I am, but it's not for facial recognition purposes. <laughs> Call Oscar Meyer. I have a truckload of baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar Meyer. Can you sing the song? Yeah, I can. Can you I sing do. the song? Uh, I can't. You I know what we're talking about? I don't know the song. I don't, but it might yeah. be beyond your age. Yeah, I know Oscar Meyer, but not the song. You say your baloney doesn't have a first name? Doesn't ring a bell? No. They had an old commercial that song. Uh, did they spell baloney out? Yeah, at the very end, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My baloney has a first name. <laughs> no, I don't B-O-L-O. know. B-O-L-O. Whatever. No, O-S-C-A-R. Yeah, then yeah. it had a second name. Huh. And yeah. M-A-Y-E-R. <laughs> yep. They spelled out Oscar Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I get it. I get it. Catchy tune, man. Yeah. That's how they roped you in. That's funny. Baloney had a catchy tune commercial. Who'd have thought? Yeah. <laughs> there was some other sports product that I like their theme song. I forget it. The little jingle they had, but maybe I'll think of it. You probably think about 11 o'clock at yeah. night, just right you get ready to sleep, and that's all you hear on. Yeah. And just that earworm just rolling yeah. through your head all night. Yeah. Anyway, it's a catchy little tune. All right. So, Instagram, facial yeah. recognition. Yeah. Doubling do down. Video. Yeah. You know, I can't. Uh, well, and people want to be able to buy fake followers, though, so they're going to be a little upset. Oh, it's just whack-a-mole. <laughs> They'll find another way. Yeah. That's true. Hey, if anybody wants to pay me to go through these, I'll, I'll be more than happy to, to help follow you for uh, a substantial amount. I don't have an Instagram, but I will create one for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, there's so much spamming out there now. Yeah. It's unreal. I feel like it's unreal. Well, it's a billion dollar business. Is it really? Oh yeah. I don't understand how it works though. Well, it's kind of a gateway. Shotgun. But who, who yeah, yeah, who buys into that? Like, if someone were to spam our show right now, and if you're watching our show, if you're watching this Facebook Live post, right? Why would you click on the link to redirect to something that's f- showing it free when you're watching it free anyway? That makes sense to me. Well, Dave, it falls. You're it, not it's not computer savvy. Yeah, it falls under. The, and, yeah, it falls under that same thing. They wouldn't be doing it if they wasn't making money. Because there's somebody out there clicking those links and making them money. Hmm. Interesting. It, it, you, know what I, you know what I don't like, not to get off topic, but there's these sites that have a button that looks like maybe go to the next page or something, but it's like an ad. Yes, you know? yes. Like pretending to be a button. That yes, l- like if I'm trying to download the file and crazy, it goes, yeah. click here to download, I know that's an ad, right, but... That's it. Biggest majority of people don't. They'll go just click download and mm-hmm. it, it redirects them. Yes, that one thing that drives me. Filling the page up with like fake things yeah. that are actually, yeah. Yeah, the po- that make up. you think it's the real what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it drives and me. What, yeah, what are they getting out of it? I immediately close whatever thing pops up. So, but I guess some people are like, well, I guess I'll buy something now. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you need this. Oh, you know, I, I do. I to download, <laughs> but you know what? I'll buy that. I, I guess, but I mean, uh, wow. Okay. I did. That's when I first saw the spam on, you know, like a live video. I was like, right. "Oh, you're watching it free? Why would you?" Get, anyway, anyway, I got what you're saying though. That's a pretty interesting story, Joe. I had no idea that they were doubling down on this. this Here this comes the facial on. recognition right back Through at you. Yeah. Videos. That's interesting. Right back at you. Not afraid. Man, I can't even remember what number three was. Amazon. Oh, no, oh, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> okay, man, Amazon is up. What okay. do we got? So Amazon has launched a dedicated Prime Video app for Mac devices. I'm getting a head turn from Dave. They didn't have an app before? No. You're kidding me. No. You said they lost it, or was they launching it? Launching. Launching, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> just, just confuses the rest of us because it was one of those you think they would. This would uh, this wouldn't be news, but it is. Yeah. So, Amazon has released a Prime Video app for Mac, 
and you can now get it for free from the App Store. You can use the app to download videos for offline viewing on your computer, and The Verge reports that the app will let you choose the quality of video you're streaming or downloading, and it supports native Mac OS features such as picture-in-picture -picture and AirPlay. Within the app, you'll find a dedicated tab where you can rent and purchase content as well. We just have uh, we just have sure you're using and make sure you're running Mac OS Big Sur or later to be able to access the application so Amazon is finally making their app available to Mac devices All right. that's crazy yeah I would assume and this is just pure ignorance on my part I assume this is already a feature that's what I mean yeah what in the heck is going on with Mac devices for all those people that paid all that extra money to get a Mac device, you're welcome. Yeah. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little late. Seems like oh, gosh, the yeah. The Prime app has been around for almost for, a forever. Now, yeah. Yeah, almost yeah, forever. forever. And and they're just saying, hey, we finally got around to yeah. it. Huh. So. That's so wild. Like the Prime app, like, Joe, do you ever download a movie off of Prime on your phone? Or have you ever notice that there is that function available or? I have I've not downloaded it to my computer but I have downloaded content to my phone mm -hmm. like uh, or on a tablet if we're going on a long road trip keep Sadie inter uh, entertained mm -hmm. which it's one of those it's kind of a double-edged sword I don't want to use it as a babysitter in the backseat of the car on a long road trips but it's on the other hand I don't want to hear dad are we there yet dad are uh -huh. we there yet are we there yet yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, any app that offers you know the ability to download to your phone, that's I'm always happy when I see that because I don't have cell service. So yeah, yeah, you're one. Or you're, internet. Yeah. yeah, you're in that situation where it, where it you're the perfect candidate for this because it lets you go to an area that has internet and be able to enjoy the content. So. Yeah, you're a perfect candidate, Justin. All right. <laughs> With your Apple phone. <laughs> <laughs> what what did they add? Just added a couple weeks ago. You uh, about? They finally, uh, after a week after Android did, they got the Netflix. Oh, apps, that's right. The Netflix uh, the games. Games, yeah. Games, yeah. Anybody, you guys play those yet? No, I haven't. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, we're going to do a review on that, right? Yeah. yeah, we did, but we never. Okay. We did, but we haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played them. I'm sorry. <laughs> me either. It slipped my mind. That's really important to do, but I'm Oh boy! All right, Amazon, Instagram, TikTok. Yes. What a lineup, Joe. I know. Look, heavy hitters. My gosh. Talking crazy stuff. I know. I'm impressed that you know it's it seems very often we have the same offenders in. And and it's but the big question is when when they do come on there, it's a toss up between is it good or bad news because we've talked a lot of good news about TikTok lately. Yeah, yeah. They've then, taken a lot of precautions and, and now then and then now <coughs> yeah. it's kind of a good and bad story. It's a bad story because what was once thought it was a conspiracy theory is actually true, but the good part of it is hey, you might get a couple dollars coming your way. Hmm. So uh, that's interesting. I got to think though that if you bought into the conspiracy theory, you would get off TikTok. And if you stayed on it, then it's your own fault. Right. But it just kind of proves that there was some truth to the conspiracy theory that, hey, they're not to be terrorists. They're doing something with our data that they're not saying. It's smoke and mirrors. It's the whole meta deal. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I don't trust any of them. Right. I don't either. I mean, and, and here's the crazy part. I carry my phone around knowing that it's tracking me. Oh, yeah. So, uh, well, doesn't, uh, doesn't matter what apps are on there. Well, you're getting tracked. Well, and how many... Uh, screenshots stuff I sent to you guys lately of text messages saying, hey, remember what we talked about this morning? And boom, here it is. And Dude, I don't know Facebook if enough of the stuff you send me. It's hard to tell what you're saying. <laughs> well, it's probably a good precaution. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if <laughs> anybody. If somebody sends me something, then I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm skipping that. <laughs> but yeah, it's stuff that we've talked about in the morning during our shows. And yeah. Then and then that you afternoon, I scroll through Facebook and bam. And yeah, literally out of nowhere. Did you send one here recently? Yeah, I sent you... Uh, Shows you how much I check my stuff. Let me see the last one I sent. Cause it was about a movie. Huh. Because I usually complain to you about my computer issues in person. Oh, yeah. It was when we were talking about The Princess Bride. Uh, 
literally scrolled through Facebook that evening and got a uh, happy 59th birthday to Carrie Elwes. And, uh, and I'm going, okay, I didn't even look him up. <coughs> we yep. just talked about it, and now I'm getting a Facebook post of wishing him happy birthday. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it all listens. <laughs> People think it doesn't, but it does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's just not sheer coincidence. That no. I mean, when do you ever talk about the Princess Bride? When's exactly. the last time you talked about it other than, like, last yeah, week? Exactly. You guys were talking about those scammers where the the guy pretends to let the scammer hack him, but he's actually hacking yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He gets in his computer. That popped up on my Did it really? Phone. Yeah. I've yeah. never searched anything like what, that. What's the odds of that? Yeah. yeah. It's like watching this go. guy take over the gamer's computer. And you don't do TikTok, so it's not TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and you didn't search it online, so yeah. Yeah. No. Craziness. <laughs> there you go. Everybody out there just got the cold sweats and like, time out. Joe, you want me to give up my TikTok? <laughs> you want me to give up my Facebook? You want me to give up my Instagram? What's next, Joe? Oh, uh, Tip of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Important announcement before that, Joe, real quick. Okay. Uh, Tiger King, season two is out. Oh, yes. Uh, starting tonight, isn't it? Yep. Why, man? Just why? Very important news. Yes. Mission critical news here. <laughs> I, I'm contemplating not going bowling tonight to watch Tiger King. I'll watch too. a dumpster fire instead. <laughs> That's, I might go set something on fire just to have something to watch other than that. Yeah. Uh, I I used to be in that boat too until I sat down and watched it and I'm all in, and apparently and obviously Justin is too. Uh, yeah, that why just why watch it and you'll understand why. I don't no, I can't now. Here's the problem. It won't make you smarter watching it. <laughs> well, they they had the conversation in the office back whenever it first came out and like you're not gonna believe this. And I was like, yeah, I'm avoiding that like the plague. The last thing I need is a reality show that I feel is good to watch that's not good to watch. And they're like, you got to watch it because it's so bad. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not watching it. I got duped into that once, and I won't do it again. Yeah. Well, the bad part of it is it's not really a reality show. It's more of a documentary. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. yeah, Yeah, because, you know, reality shows, they kind of stretch the truth. This is all just documentary. And it, it, it's one of those, it's crazy enough it could be. It's too crazy to be a reality show. Yeah. But thank you, Justin. I, can, I, I remember last night and I forgot this morning, so thank you. I want to know how this conversation is going to go with your bowling team. <laughs> Joe, where you at? Shush, I'm watching Tiger King. <laughs> my one buddy goes, my, I, I know exactly how this will go. My one buddy will go, hey, there's a season two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of them that will say, time out, what's Tiger King? Uh, probably one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. A season two. I thought the guy was in jail. Yeah, well, he is. That's the thing. I don't know how they're going to. They, they may be milking it because it's not like he's released and they're able to. How long is he in jail for? What did he go to jail for? Uh, threatening to hit on yeah. the rival uh, on, uh, zoo owner. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger competitor. Owner. Really? How much time do you get for that? Uh, 15 30. years? Yes. He, yeah, he got a chunk of time. What state it. are they in? He was in Texas. Well, what had happened was that. Time out. You're saying he, Texas gives you 15 years for setting up a hill? Well, on it was more than that. Like, isn't Texas like the Wild West? He messed with the wrong person, and she got in connection with the right people, and they trumped up a bunch of charges. This is why you need to watch the show, Dave, because it I makes sense. I'm just saying. I, I thought everybody in Texas owned a gun, and it was the Wild West, and you could do whatever you wanted. Well, well he's 22 years. Okay, so he should be released in 2037. How old is this guy? He's probably 50 now. Yeah. But, but here's the... Because the woman he was going after, yeah, there's a conspiracy with a lot of heavy evidence that they think she killed her first husband mm -hmm. and fed him to the lo to the tigers. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So they these two have always gotten... Where does she live? Florida. That's how I thought. I didn't think they were in the same state. But, she, but here's the kicker. She hates everybody else because they have a zoo. But she doesn't have a zoo. She has a, a tiger sanctuary. But yet she still charges admission and keeps animals in cages. But it's a sanctuary. They're safer than a zoo. And she's in Florida. He's in Texas. And those two somehow... Because they was in Florida together at one point. Uh, uh, I mean, not t not together, but they was in the same you state. You know what? I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> I don't yeah. even want to Dave, you need to watch this and you'll get a better understanding. I'm of because pretty you, sure I don't need to watch <laughs> yes. it. Yes. Yes, this will answer all your questions and I, more. I refuse to watch it, and I don't want to ask any more questions. <laughs> Based off of what you just told me, I'm 100% certain I don't need to ask more questions or watch this show. 
Justin, back me up uh, here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sinking here. I need some backup. Uh, no, you don't. It's fine. <laughs> you just did me a favor. Thank you, Joe. You satisfied my curiosity. I know what I need to know now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This poor people. <laughs> and, yes, Joe, you're one of those poor people. <laughs> I, now you got to text me though and let me know if you went bowling or you boycotted. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I want to see the outcome. Which way do you think I Cena's going? Well, 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 I think she's going to be in the same boat because it's one of those. Do I want to get rid of Joe for a couple hours or do we want to watch Tiger King? All right, yeah. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Okay, we'll see which way the ball rolls. <laughs> is it going to be a gutter ball or a strike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you still be friends with the people on your team if you ditch them for the Tiger King? Oh yeah, as long as I pay my way, they don't care. Oh jeez. <laughs> How do they replace you? They just bowl me blind, which is 10 pins off my average. I feel like we should substitute Justin in on your bowling team. Just okay. be like, hey, I'm Joe's replacement today. Well, I guarantee you can't be any worse, so by all means, Justin. Uh, there you I'll, go. I'll dress as the Tiger King. Oh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like he it. He has a bang up <laughs> Halloween costume as Tiger King. Yeah, but Justin, if you go bowling, then how are you going to watch tonight? Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I can download it to my phone. Watch it in between. Uh, in between uh, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Oh, like that guy's watching himself on his phone. <laughs> 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 watching videos of himself. This guy can bowl like a champ. I can't believe he does stuff with Tigers, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bonus. <laughs> All right, so here's how I want to see this play out. I want pictures tomorrow of Justin showing up at the bowling alley in his Tiger King outfit. <laughs> Bowling and Joe, you at home with Cena watching the Tiger King. <laughs> That's what I want. I want That's a good idea. physical evidence yeah. of how this goes down. Because <laughs> I see nothing but good times. Stars yeah. Line here, yeah. <laughs> how awesome is that? They'll be like, "Where's Joe? Don't worry about it. the Tiger King's here, baby." Yeah. I'm here to roll. What, what is your average roughly, Joe? Uh, you don't don't, on, on yeah, average? I'm not going to talk. I'm not no, going to that, bro. Because mine is probably not very good. Well, I guarantee you, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not setting the bar too high for you. I'll put okay. it that way. Okay. Do, you, do you guys spin the ball? I've I tried. I, I can't, Dude, I'm still I, working on it. I I'm a terrible it. bowler, but I really like spinning the ball. It's so much easier on your arms. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I could bowl 50, what are they called, sets? No. Frames. Frames. I can bowl 50 frames, no problem. Yeah. Where before, slinging the ball really hurt my elbow and hurt my wrist. Yeah. But, man, spinning the ball, it's so much fun. But it's so hard to do to yeah. do good. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's man, it's fun. Well, have you seen the people bowl with two hands? Uh-uh. Like little kids? No, like adults. Like teenagers and adults. Yeah, you take two hands and, and do that and, and release with two hands. and Really? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's somehow I don't know how, but it gives you more control and like way I, easier. I definitely need some control with my deal. <laughs> and like way easier to get, uh, like it'll take an average bowler and knock them up to 150, 210 game real easy. What? Yeah. No way. Yes. Seen firsthand. Are they spinning it? Kinda. It's so hard to get the spin right because of the amount of wax on the. Yeah. On the lane is the lane. Yeah. On the lane. That's what always gets me. You got yeah. you got to bowl a little bit to get used to how how hard to spin versus how hard to throw. Well, yeah, to it's get a, it to curve right. Yeah, there's a lot of science in in, in bowling that uh, I didn't. It, realize it's incredibly yeah. hard. Yeah, because I mean, it, it literally is how much wax and, uh-huh. and the, the wax pattern itself. Because I didn't even know there was a wax pattern. I've never heard that term before. Wax pattern. It's yeah. like it all depends on how the wax is laid on the lane. Yeah. And they can lay it heavy. They can lay it light. They can. Uh, there, there's a certain pattern instead of just laying that like makes straight sense, out. makes sense because if you watch like a professional bowler, man, it spins, 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 goes out to the edge, and then just cuts. Yeah, yeah. And I always thought maybe the ball was just gaining traction somehow. You know, like a tire would. Right. Maybe get a little hotter. I don't know. It right. seems not like it would. It doesn't seem like it would it's get just, hotter, generate suddenly, heat. Yeah, it suddenly, but man, all of a sudden it just gets like traction and goes. Yeah. But yeah. that makes sense. There's less wax down on the end. Yeah. Or more wax? Or like? I'd or say oil. Or less. Uh, not or wax, oil. Oil, oil. yeah. Because yeah. oh, okay. it'll spin with uh, more yeah. oil. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I was saying wax. I don't yeah. believe oil. oil. But, uh, you know, it's kind of crazy. Huh. Makes me want to go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to see what's going on here. Because my throws are horrible. I'm a horrible bowler. I mean, I, I probably bowl 100, 120, but. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's a good, that's on a good, good day. day for me. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Well, that's a good day. Okay, well then, yeah, my average is like 135. So. Oh, it ta- it takes me like three games to get to 120 because I can't control the spin. <laughs> it's all over the place. I go downhill. Like the more I bowl, the worse it gets. Arm gets tired. I yeah. Think. Well, that's a if you straight bowl, yeah. Gosh, that's yeah. how it used to be. I'd bowl one, two frames, <clears> and then I'd be like, yeah, my arms. Yeah. Yeah, I tore ligaments in my elbow though, so that doesn't help me. But spinning the ball, I can do that all day long. Yeah, yeah, I might need to try the two-handed approach. How, yeah, I what don't happens I, with the two-handed? I, I don't know how it works it because I have enough trouble. Like yeah, I don't know, maybe. but but yeah, it it's crazy to watch them, but you it's amazing to see the control one and the spin that they. Who get owns on the bowling alley now? Uh, Kevin and Terry Kelly. Okay, I knew they had new owners, and so is there an open bowl date? Like, is there days they do open bowl? Because it seems like they do well, a lot of Well, they used to, but uh, COVID really. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's just the leagues now? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, until the whole COVID I've been bowling forever. <coughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they, they've done a lot of work to, to yeah. and the improvements up there. That's what I heard. Nice. Yeah. Good for Spencer. You know, we got a yeah. great community here. And, a nice, and, you know, not too many communities have bowling alleys. No. It's a good thing to have, yeah. Yeah. So that's like the city keeping the pool open. You know, not too many communities have pools anymore. No. So... Good stuff here in our little rural community. If you're not familiar with Spencer, look it up. Good little town. There good little go. community. Good county. Rome County. Anyway, all right. Justin, my gosh, <laughs> man. <laughs> this has been a... We haven't even touched the tip of the <sighs> this week. This has been a wild. I didn't even know we were having a tip of the week. At this point. <laughs> I, th- I feel like you've given out like six tips already, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so is this tip of the week needed at this point? Uh, yes. Because I, I kind of felt like maybe your tip of the week was stay home and watch Tiger King. Yeah two tonight but well that that's a bonus tip <laughs> bonus tip. <laughs> all right what's your tip of the week and you've okay. been throwing out some dandies for shopping is this getting us related back to shopping uh kind of okay right. so Holid- holidays are so up. i'm giving you guys the holiday travel survival guide hold on so i got a question first okay does it feel like thanksgiving is next week no and why not I don't know because literally Cena and i we had this discussion two sundays ago we was leaving the church parking lot and i went Hey, we didn't discuss anything about Christmas, and she goes, "Oh, that's right." <laughs> yeah. So then I brought it up last Sunday, and everybody's going, "Oh yeah, and the thanks." It's almost Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah, the month's halfway gone," and and yeah. Well, yeah, thanks. No, none of us have realized it. Yeah, that's Thanksgiving's <laughs> a big time for us because all our students are in. Our college students are in for break. Our high school students are off school for the week, so Denise does a big deal with the schedule. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, hey, who's going to fit in where? What are we going to have them do? And she was talking about this morning, and it hit me this morning. I was like, she's talking about Thanksgiving next week. Yeah. You know, and it's Wednesday, so that's two, three days away, and we're on Thanksgiving break, and I just, I was baffled. I, well, mean, I, did, I hadn't even got my game cameras up till yesterday for my deer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I hadn't even... Because I usually do that in August. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Joe. You're like way behind. I know. <laughs> Thanksgiving is going to slap you hey, in the face. Hey, but I'm going to save money on corn this year. <laughs> this yeah. is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so it's kind of crazy. It doesn't seem that when she was talking about the schedule next week, I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, next week's Thanksgiving. You know, it's here. And I kept thinking it was a couple weeks away. Yeah. You know, we kept. Denise does a great job of scheduling, right? And she stays way ahead of the game. So I kept saying, "Well, she's talking about two weeks down the road, you know, yeah, two yeah, weeks, yeah. three weeks, whatever." And I was like, "Crap, it's here Monday." Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because Cena and I was talking yesterday about scheduling for next week. She said, "Happy Thanksgiving." What, yeah. When are you taking off? I said, "Well, definitely Monday." She goes, "You know, it's next Monday." I was like, "Oh, yeah, no." Nope. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's literally here after yeah. this weekend. So. Oh, gosh. Anyway, is that your tip of the week? Stay on top of the counter so you know what the heck's going <laughs> on in this joint or what? No. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. All right. Go ahead. Tip of the week. Okay. So <laughs> well, there, it's going to be kind of a high-level overview of stuff that you will need to help make your holiday travels a little uh, more bearable. Okay. So one of the tips, this is kind of an extra tip I forgot about until just now, uh, get a gas app. Uh, there are several gas apps that you can download on your phone like Gas Buddy. And it'll tell you the gas prices near where you're at, so you can find the best price for gas. All right. I have a huge complaint here. Okay. Gas in Spencer is like three thirty nine a gallon. Yes. You go 20 miles away, like Work County, it was three nineteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How in the world does 30 miles make a 30-cent difference in gas? They don't have the new bypass open. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> well, it's crazy because it's the same. Like you go to Ripley, it's back up to three thirty nine, and he drives somewhere else, yeah. and it's three nineteen. Like I was in Huntington, and you know, as soon as you get part way to Huntington, three nineteen. Yeah, I'm just like, what in the heck makes thirty cents a gallon? You know, and when your tank holds twenty gallons, that's a lot of money. I know. Yeah. Was it? Has it ever been up to four? I'm trying to remember. I mean, it's flirted with it, but it's never gotten. Yeah, it was high there back when. Uh, there was one summer back when I was in college. Bush was president because I remember everybody was giving him a hard time. Yeah. Like, he's an oil guy. Why is gas so high? I was like, because he's an oil guy. Yeah, when, when you have the president and the vice president have their hands in that. It's yeah, which the president doesn't control. That's OPEC, but that's just what I, I remember saying that. And but I, and but I got a quick, uh, my history professor in college gave me a quick reprimand of knowing what I'm talking about. And he's like, yeah, our government doesn't have anything to do with gas prices. It's called OPEC. Look it up. But it just seems awful convenient that the prices are higher when you have an administration that has a hand in it. It just seems <sighs> awful convenient. I don't know. It fluctuates so much. It's hard to tell. But I do know, like I know the facts now because I looked it up. OPEC <coughs> determines the price. It's supply and demand. They'll <coughs> shut down a processing plant that needs, and I'm air quoting here, needs maintenance refurbished or maintenance or whatever and then gas prices go up and then all of a sudden it's back online and gas prices drop back down yeah so uh, like gas buddy it, it would kind of help you out yeah you yeah because you never know yeah like you, you, town to town it would say yeah yeah maybe you should go an extra 20 miles right or hey go to this one it's five cents cheaper yeah. a gallon yeah there. yeah and it's crazy joe you turned me on to the uh, mobile app that lets you purchase gas off your phone yes so that kale could get gas without having a credit card yes that's the best thing ever <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> To me. Yeah, so okay. it's a uh, Exxon Mobile app's the one I use because yeah. Exxon's right here outside, and then you know over in Rippling and so forth. Yeah, you just link it with your credit card, so when you pull in the gas station, you open up the app and say which pump you're at, and you can yeah. actually do it, do the whole transaction from your phone. You don't have to pull your credit card out yeah, or anything. anything. Yeah, and it just automatically syncs. And, and the beauty of it was I could give it to Kale, so that he didn't have to have a credit card or anything. He could just pull in and get gas, and it mm -hmm. tracked it and it let me know he got gas and so yeah. forth. So plus, yeah. you can save your points up for. So much off a gallon. Yeah, it's true. It's kind of like Kroger, but you don't have to scan the little card. You just use your phone. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, all right. All kinds of good stuff. Gas Buddy. Yeah, so Gas nice. Buddy. Uh, the next thing is we got to figure out how to get there and try to figure out how to avoid all the major traffic issues. So get you a good GPS app. The one I always recommend is Waze. It's yeah. free. And, and it's an amazing product because <laughs> it's an amazing app because... It is all user interface, so you can let people ahead of you know, hey, there's some there's road construction, debris uh, there's a car on the road. Wreck. I really like the debris on the road. I always like the police ahead. <laughs> well, don't speed, Joe. Come on. Well, sometimes I'm in a hurry. But it, the debris on the road is really handy. Yes, yeah, there's disabled vehicle on the side. Or yeah, like that's a, I mean, yeah. you know, if there's a vehicle on the side, it's, deal, it's yeah. not huge. But man, it's a turn or something. debris yeah, on the road yeah. is really rough because you know you never know. You come across a deer or a, or a big tractor trailer tire that blew up. You know, it's in your lane. It's messing with you. This thing right. lets you know like a mile ahead of time debris in the, on the road. Yeah, so you can watch out. For yeah, it. gosh, I, I find that super handy. Mm -hmm. So I like you turned me onto that, Joe. Or no, Quentin. Yeah, Quentin. Quentin turned me on to it and love it. And uh, you can, you know, you want to have a little fun, you want to stay entertained, go ahead and change your voices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I got Count Dracula and the Cookie Monster. <laughs> it's funny. My kids get a kick out of it because when we go on a long trip, I'll use it and I'll just put on a voice, change it, and they'll be like, wait a minute, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> the Cookie Monster got him for a while. I had Batman for a while. I, th I threatened to create my own voice file and wrote it on my buddy Greg's <laughs> voice just to drive him nuts. Yeah, yeah. Because he drive, travels back and forth to Florida, and I thought it'd be funny just to have him going, Hey, Greg, hey, Greg, turn left, I mean right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All the way to Florida, because he wouldn't, I mean, he would know it was me, but he, he yeah. would drive him nuts. I, I would be getting a call going, yeah. how do you change it? How do yeah, I change how this I back? Fix this? I don't know, Greg, you just have to deal with it. Yeah, don't do, <laughs> Sorry, don't buddy. drive and try to fix your phone, dude. Yeah. Just, you just have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, so tip number three. Power banks, and I thought of Justin on oh, this gosh. one. <laughs> Start charging now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. It's next. It's like four oh, days. Yeah. <laughs> you need three weeks to charge that baby up. <laughs> English least get almost a half charge between now and next <laughs> No, I don't yeah. think so. You get like a quarter, <laughs> maybe. Quarter, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> for those few of you that don't know what a power bank is, a power bank is just a basically a portable battery yeah. to help extend your battery life on your phone. So, if you're out holiday yeah. shopping or... At a family member's house, then you can't get to an outlet to charge your phone up. You can have extra power in your pocket. 
<laughs> yeah, typically those things will, will charge in a day or so, but there's yeah. some out there that take weeks. Weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not speaking from experience or anything, are you, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> you warned me too, Jay. You said, oh, you should be. Well, I showed you a, a video of me charging. You said, oh, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving break. Yeah. <laughs> and I should have, yeah, kept a, it for you. A month ago? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's happened back in October. I see you're getting ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> a picture of you and your power bank. Yeah. <laughs> Not a new one, of course. Yeah. We want to keep having fun with this one. <laughs> so the next tip would be if you're going to have family members over, hop onto your router and turn on the guest Wi-Fi. Hmm. Never thought to do that. And here's why. You don't when you have family members coming over. You don't know what and what's the first thing they ask. What's the pa- Wi-Fi yeah, password? Yeah, gosh, I don't even have. Yeah, and and you. D- That's and what we meant to talk about that off air last time. I forgot. What's that? My password to my Wi-Fi. Is oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. I Sixteen forgot. digit letter number combination. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I don't even I know forgot. they have guest Wi-Fi. How do you get guest Wi-Fi? Uh, depending on. Um, biggest majority of the routers have a guest Wi-Fi mode and you just turn it on and it gives a separate password oh you can boy. create a separate network and a separate password for your guests and and the biggest thing with that is that's a more of a layer of security yeah because you don't know what what oh, they're bringing yeah. with it with your family so what TikTok they're watching yeah or uh, emails they're opening or virus infected computer they're bringing gotcha, in gotcha gotcha so that's if they tip. if they're yeah, on their own network one. it keeps them quarantined to Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get the internet, but you don't get my stuff. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And again, two factor authentication. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. I'm on board. Joe got me on board. It only took five years, but I'm there. <laughs> this is especially important if you're going to start doing any online shopping. You don't want to end up like they get these credit card statements out of the blue that uh, get these weird <sighs> charges. Uh, so turn on two factor authentication, especially on your online shopping sites, and that will help prevent yeah. fraudulent charges you know and the lesson i learned is that my card expired <coughs> and i thought that was good because it's expired nobody could use it i should have deleted it off my account well, i never thought of yeah i never thought of that but i mean it pops up every time right on my account when i look into payment options and stuff right which i rarely do right but i never would have thought of yeah now that i've seen it i'm like oh yeah i should have just deleted it five years ago and not have been a problem but anyway all right so the next one is secure your cell phone. And a lot of people don't do this because it's inconvenient. Yeah. They don't want to. Why are you looking at me when you say this, Joe? I'm just looking at you to, uh-huh. for, to I'm uh-huh. trying I'm gauge, trying to gauge your reaction. Uh-huh. So I got the stone face, not me innocent look. Yeah. <laughs> Put a password on your phone and it doesn't have to be complex, but make sure it's something you remember. Don't make it difficult <laughs> and then go, I don't remember, and you've just lost everything. I get that more often than not. Hey, we were talking the other day. Okay. So the guy that has like two million Bitcoin things, he's got two chances to open his thing because his password. Is that real? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happens more often than not that somebody getting their... their well, I mean, it said he'll lose all his <coughs> Bitcoin money if he doesn't get it right in two guesses. Yeah, because it just kind of vaporizes it. So that's a real story. Oh, yeah. Has, it seems like someone told me about it a couple months ago. Is he still waiting or what are we doing here? I don't know because I've even heard of people that have lost their Bitcoin wallets because it became corrupt and uh, Bitcoin is such a mess I don't even fool with it because it's so unstable and unreliable well, that's yeah that's what I mean I, <coughs> and literally it's not buy- about the Bitcoin I was just curious if that guy really had two or three chances to get his password correct or he lost it all I think I think that sounds about right okay I'm going to Google Okay, so please secure your smartphone because in in the unfortunate event your device gets lost or stolen, think about what you have on your phone. If you have your credit card stored on your phone, if you have your password stored on your phone, if you have any important information on your phone besides family pictures, you're going to leave that vulnerable to anybody to just pick it up and take it off with it. So please secure your smartphones. And the last, but certainly not least, make sure you have a cell phone locator program installed on your phone. And before anybody freaks out going, I don't want to be tracked, I don't want to be followed, this is for your safety. 
because if your phone is stolen, unfortunately lost or stolen, you can log in on the app and track your phone down. And some of the apps we recommend is uh, iPhone has it built in. Just have it turned on with your location services called Find My iPhone. Yep. Android has the same thing called Google Locator. Yeah. Yep. And That's I have cool. a third one that I've used for several years called Prey Project, P-R-E-Y Project. That was kind of one of the first ones. And there's there's a free tier and a paid tier, and it can actually update you every few minutes where it's at. And if you actually do the paid tier, it can actually send a picture. It can take a picture while of and send all that in an email every few minutes if your phone's lost or stolen. So we're worried about TikTok giving away information, and yet here are programs that take their own pictures. Yeah, but you're telling it to. That's the difference. If you don't have your phone, how are you telling it to? It over the internet. Oh boy. <laughs> because okay, Dave, how much? And and don't couldn't uh, somebody hack that though and tell it to? I well, mean, that's why the companies have strong security in place to prevent that. Yeah, I, this feels like the whole vacuum cleaner with the camera on deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got two things here. But okay, Dave. So if your phone comes up missing, wouldn't you like to be able to try to get it back, considering how much money you paid for it? If I have to risk it taking photos of whatever on the phone, I don't know. No, 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 no. It only takes the photos if it becomes lost or stolen. And you say, hey, this thing's lost or stolen. Help track it down. I guess. Because it depends on what it's a photo of. Like, if you lose it out in the field, it's taking pictures of the sky or the grass, then... Well, but, the, yeah, but also <laughs> send, well, but it also sends you the geolocation so you know at least track it's... Track it down. Yeah, so you at least know <coughs> yeah. it's just missing. Now, that makes sense. It's in this area. Yeah. So... But then if I just somebody, usually call myself. But then if Justin stole it, well, Justin's sitting there trying to lock in. Hey, you can go to the police and say, hey, it's stolen. Here's where it's at, and here's a picture of the guy oh, that God. took it. Yeah. Don't steal my stuff, Justin. <laughs> or girl or person or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> carried, carried your device <coughs> off. So um, there's a guy, Stefan Thomas, who lost $200 million because he couldn't remember his password. And uh, time heals all wounds, but he doesn't say when he lost it. So, and then there's another guy, uh, James Howes, an IT engineer, who threw away a hard drive of an old computer that had 7,500 bitcoins back in 2013. He's still sorting through 400,000 tons of waste trying to find it, the hard drive. It definitely if you just cut cut bait and go. Wow. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you don't want to write that password down because then someone could just steal your Bitcoin. Right. But if you try to remember it and then you forget it, you're screwed. Yeah, that's bad news. So I guess he had a couple, I don't know, I assume this is the same guy, but it just says Bitcoin owner's story went viral after he lost his wallet password. Said he made peace with a potential $220 million loss. Potential, but considering <coughs> Stephen Thomas had 7,000 Bitcoin stored on a secure hard drive. Ooh. But the thing of it is, it could be worth that today, and then as unstable the market as yeah. Bitcoin is, it could be he could only lose 20 bucks tomorrow. So you really. I mean, for 220 million, wouldn't you get some sort of big time hacker to come in and sort that out for you? N well, not for cryptocurrency, not for like Bitcoin, because it's so encrypted and secure, and uh, it's it's a mess on how it all works. It's not like it can be easily duplicated. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing as if you had a hundred bucks in your pocket and you lose that hundred bucks, nobody can reduplicate you a hundred dollar gotcha. bill. Gotcha. So yeah. Well, yeah. this is why my password's the same, and it's really easy. It's like my street name, so you know. <sighs> And I, I've been playing those games lately about my favorite color and what street I grew up on. Well, that's what Justin and I thought you was doing this morning. You said you was doing a survey. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what Justin said. He goes, he's trying to figure out his rapper name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. Craziness. All right. Well, good stuff, Joe, across the board. If anybody has any questions, which, you know, we talked about a lot of different things here today. But if anybody <laughs> has any questions and needs the services of A&M Digital Technology, how do they get a hold of you? You can give us a call at our office at 304-927-3588. Check our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com or follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at amdigitaltech for all that. 
And be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Help us with Joe and Dave. We're on all the major platforms. Oh, yeah. And all of our episodes are hosted by Anchor.fm. Even those people with iPhones can get <laughs> in touch with us. So, yeah. And, and we don't even have to make a way a day later or anything. Yeah. So, here in Spencer, West Virginia, at the Patch Studio, uh, we're closing out another show. Show 86. And, Justin, I got to say, uh, kept you on your toes today. I cannot wait for photos of the Tiger King bowling deal. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. All right. So stay tuned for more. We'll be back next week with Help Desk with Joe and Justin. And uh, as always, bringing tech tips and technology uh, knowledge to the forefront that people need to know for their everyday lives. And I really like your tips of the weeks because people's getting ready to go on Monday for the Thanksgiving week and be traveling and stuff. That's always good stuff. So thank try, you, Joe. Try to make it a little more bearable. Oh, you betcha. All right, we'll be back next week. Thanks for joining us. Everybody have a great week and have a great Thanksgiving.